All right, guys, we just got done putting the Cadex Vista, wiring it all up, and this sucker is good to go. The fit is good. Everything about this looks great. However, now what we need, well, not however, but now what we need to do is we need to get the camera installed. Okay, so again, clean up your area a little bit, make sure everything's good to go, and let's grab this frame, or this, uh, man, I got all that, so, uh, aggravates me. All right, let's grab this, uh, let's grab this little bag here of goodies that came with the Vista. Let's see how we're going to do this, okay? So the main thing that we want to do is we want two things I want you to remember. One, the cable is the bottom of the camera, which means that the cable needs to be on the bottom of the frame in order for this to be up and down properly, okay? What we're going to do here is we're going to slide... The, well, I think you have to take this camera cover off real quick, actually. It's a lens cover. You're going to take this piece here and you're going to slide it right over just like that, okay? And it should line up perfectly. Let me make sure... Yep, and it should kind of snap right in. There it goes. It snaps right in place. Okay? Perfect. The holes line up, and everything should look very good. All right? Just like that. Okay. Now, this is a very tight fit. There's not much room here for, for error here, okay? So what we're going to do is take one of your camera... You can put your camera lens cover back on if you want. Take one of the side plates of your frame... And you could play around with this all you want, see which one fits better. But what we're going to do is we are going to, um, I think we can use the long screws here without any problem, but I'm going to test this first. Take one of the long screws, put it in through the, you could go through the forward, the front hole, if you prefer, like that. Okay. Which will move the camera up just a little bit. That's a preference. You can just see if you like it. All right, and tighten that one down, but leave it leave it to where you can still move. Take the next camera mount, take another long screw that came with that kit there. Okay. I think there's actually three different sizes. Let me just check, because I think I used the longest one. I did, I used the longest one. So you grab the longest screw, all right? And I'm going to go, again, I'm going to just do this different this time. I drilled these holes, three of them. Now, the top and the bottom don't mess with, but on the middle row, I'm going with the one that's going to be most forward. That's going to push the camera up about a millimeter and a half or two mil, maybe, um, which might be pretty cool. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to like it, but I can always go back and put it back in the center. The original one I flew, I put it in the center, and I just didn't get to see what it was like moving it up that little bit. I'd like to do that just to see. All right, so screw this one in. But remember, guys, don't tighten them down too much, okay? Because you still have to fit these in these slots here. If you tighten them down too much, they're, they're, they're gonna, it's going to be a little too tight to fit. So make sure you get that screw started into the camera body, just like that. And just pay attention to make sure that that screw goes, there it goes, just like that, okay? Now, once you've got them ready to go, and at least one side can move a little bit, pull, pull the wire back, make sure the cable is down. And hold the wire up there and just try to fit those in just like that, okay? It should pretty much just stand on its own. And then I'm just going to twist this wire a little bit to try to tuck it away. So let me explain to you how that's going to work just like that. Should tuck away nicely. You know what? Moving that up this little bit looks really good too. Saves a, it gives you a little bit of room there. Okay, so as you can see, the camera, this, the camera mounts, ah, I got more of that silicone on me. Camera mounts are in place on the side of the frames. On the sides there, okay? And as you can see, it's, it's in place now. So what we want to do here is, if this is going to be okay, we're just going to go ahead and we need to put, we can take our front plate if we want, all right? And we can get ready to mount it, but we have to get our antenna ready. And I put this piece back here to hold this antenna in place so it wouldn't fall out. So take your antenna, and let's start with this though. Let's get our standoff on, because remember we took these standoffs off so we could solder. Let's go ahead and put the screws back in the back here, and let's just finger tighten these standoffs on, just so we get that out of the way as well. And if you have fat fingers like mine, you may not enjoy this. I'm just gonna go ahead and hold it there and then use the screwdriver to kind of get that on, all right? Here we go, that's one. You don't need to worry about tightening it super tight because we'll have uh, plenty of opportunity to do that in a minute. Now, what am I doing here? I brought two pieces back, so let's do this. Take the other eight millimeter screw, put it right there. Put my thumb on it so it doesn't fall out and then just kind of tighten this one as well. 
Now that silicone will take a couple hours to dry. <laughs> Usually we put that on and we put the drones aside on the table or something. But because I'm doing this on a live build, I wanted to get it done now. That's why it's ending up on some of my fingers. All right. All right. So we've got our standoffs in place. Everything here that's good. So the only thing left to do really is to get ready to put our top plate on. We need to get ready to put the antenna in. So very carefully unscrew the Vista there and get the uh, antenna ready. And to do that, you're going to take your top plate, run the antenna through the back here, take this plug and just press it on as carefully as you can. Those of you who know me know that this is the number one repair I do for Vistas is fixing this antenna here when people go uh, gorilla on it and just try to powerhouse it. Once you get it on just like this, just straight and lay it flat. Don't do anything crazy with it. Put this piece back on. There's a little pin. There we go, just like that. All right, put that piece back on. And here's my screw right here. Put that in place. Just like that, and I'm gonna tighten this down. Okay, so it's on, everything's in place as you can see. Let me zoom in and I'll give you an idea of what that looks like. Okay, just like that. Now, yes, this initial, this silver piece came from between the two plates. I don't need to put it back there. And do you see that real quick? Not to deviate from this video, but look at that. This is where that piece went in through and between my nail and my finger went all the way to here. And I just have this little, I don't know, mark still left of it. Couldn't hurt, but boy, it scares me every once in a while. Okay, so as you can see now, it's on, but when we try to put this on, this is a very long wire. There's a couple things you can do, but for right now, don't worry about it. Just pull the antenna out a little bit if you want to give some slack to it. Main thing we want to do right now, and I'm going to zoom back out so you can see. Main thing we want to do right now is we want to have our 8mm M2s ready. And we're going to, we want to make sure that we fit these slots for the camera through the top of the frame. Okay, just like that. When we do that, we know, we know we're in place there. Now what we want to do is we want to try to line up these four holes with the long screws that are coming through. And you'll see once you do that, the screws will actually sit flush. That's why we don't fasten them down. I made this frame so that you didn't have to use a fastener for this, that the screws would go through and everything would fit perfect. Once you get that lined up, tighten down two spots, caddy corner, okay? Tighten the back left or back right and tighten the vice versa on the front corner, front left or front right, so you've crossed You've got the cross, one, two, just like that, okay? Once you do that, you can let it go, and I can show you what we've done. So let me zoom in a little bit now. Okay, so to line this up properly, what you do is you make sure that you fit your front camera mounts right here, and then those tall 25-millimeter screws are going to fit flush, perfectly flush up here. And look at that. You don't need to fasten anything down. It gives you enough room at the top there, and you're golden everything here is perfect all right so at that point just right here right here you're set now if you want if you want to put a layer of protection between the antenna for example and the ground you can but the antenna as it stands right now is not touching the carbon fiber but if you feel like that's something that you want to do feel free to run like um, if you have extra tape I don't usually do this, but I can see where some people would want to, and I can't argue the point. I guess if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. So here's what you would do. Just take a piece of tape. I'm using this cloth tape, but I'm going to have to unscrew this again to show you. If you want to protect those pieces or just make sure that they don't touch the carbon fiber, right? here's what you're going to do. You're basically going to take this, take this, Let me just gently lift this off because I've got it all lined up and I don't want to mess it up. All right, just like that. You can lay it on the side. And you can take a piece of tape and you can go like this, cover both, however you want to do it. I just cut one. I cut one piece already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay one piece like that and I'll lay one piece like that just to satisfy those concerns if there are any. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, the first one. We'll go right here, okay? Just like that, okay? Second one, we'll go right there. But I need this to cut through the screw, actually, so let me just 
Let me put it. Oh, maybe I'll just go like this then. Forgot I gotta get this screw to go through, so let me put it right here. There we go. There, that'll work. I'll take the next one and go right over the USB. And again, I didn't do this on my last one, and I'm not really worried about it, but if it's a concern, then what you can do is you can just take the piece of tape and you can put it just like that. Okay, now the carbon fiber is not gonna touch any of it. Now, once you're done, if that's the choice you make to do, that's fine. Just get ready to put everything back in again, just like we were normally doing. Line it up, get the camera pieces in place. There we go, get the back piece in place. Gotta get the screw out of there. I left the screws in and they're kind of getting in the way. All right, so I'm gonna screw the back piece in first just to kind of hold it. And I'm not gonna tighten it all the way down because I wanna make sure everything lines up still. So let me get the front now lined up. I think my screw here is the way. I left the screw in the front here, so let me take that out because it's stopping the top plate from moving over. There we go. There we go. And you see, we're still gonna press it through. It's still gonna line up fine. So I'm just gonna hold this down and tighten this one all the way. Oh, and I'll take the top screw here, cutty corner, or cross corner, whatever it's called. Tighten that one down. And now we'll tighten the other two. And that's it. You have just assembled your frame. Okay, so let me turn this around. Put this here. Then we'll zoom out here. I realize I'm zoomed in the whole time, so we'll zoom out and show you what you got look at that okay it came out looking great all right so there's the frame itself with everything built in okay and if we want to get an idea on weight of this one let me grab the scale real quickly uh, which was around here somewhere and now i don't see it so i'll have to get the scale oh here it is here it is okay so Seventy-eight point one six. Okay. Now, a few things that we need to tidy up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here. I want you guys to just do your best to try to get this to match. Do what we're doing. All right. Make sure everything looks good. On this end, it looks great. Everything looks like it's fitting perfectly well. Uh, let me look again. Yep. That's that looks really good actually. And so I just want to make sure. Let me see. I'm just going to turn this to make sure. It, yep. Perfect. Yep, everything fits well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna stop this here and we're gonna get to come back to another video just to close everything up and get the prop guards on. Okay guys, I'll see you in just a minute.